Here we go with 4.7 polar bonds. Now before we can talk about polar bonds, we have to talk a little bit more about electronegativity. And as we learned when we did the unit on the periodic table, that some atoms like electrons more than others. Remember, electronegativity is an affinity or an attraction, an affinity for or an attraction to electrons. So some atoms are more electronegative than others because they like electrons more. Now, when you have two atoms forming a bond, the greater the electronegativity difference, the more one of the atoms keeps, in quotes, the electrons. Okay? A uh, couple numbers that we're going to have to memorize before we go on. 1.7 and 0 0.4. Now, these have to do with electronegativity difference. So when two things form a bond, we are actually going to look at the differences in the electronegativities between them. If that difference is, if the electronegativity difference is greater than or equal to 1.7, you're going to have an ionic bond. If that electronegativity difference is 0 0.4 or less, we're going to have nonpolar covalent. If it's in between, we are going to have polar covalent. And usually I'll just say if it's uh, 0.4 or less nonpolar, 1.7 or more ionic between polar. Remembering that polar and nonpolar is always talking about covalent bonds. And where do we get these electronegativities? Well, we're just going to look them up on our reference table. Uh, remember to look in the electronegativity column, not the ionization energy column. Okay, so polarity and bonds, what does that end up meaning? Well, Nonpolar bonds are usually going to be diatomic molecules, like hydrogen, for example. Right? What's the electronegativity between hydrogen and hydrogen? Well, it's going to be zero. So these electrons are shared equally. Okay? Also, we have nonpolar bonds where electrons are shared almost equally. They tend to be nonpolar. Now, polar bonds is when you can have an electronegativity difference between 0 0.4 and 1.7. So there's going to be an unequal sharing. And that leads to what's called a dipole. So when you have a bond between hydrogen and oxygen, for example, right, the electrons spend more time with the oxygen, so that ends up being a negative dipole, or the negative end of the bond. And they spend less time with hydrogen, making this the positive dipole or the positive end of the bond. Now, the greater the electronegativity difference, the more polar the bond. The lower the electronegativity difference, the less polar the bond. And I always talk about this like uh, when I was younger, if I was sharing a candy bar with my brother. I was like the oxygen. I was stronger, so I was more electronegative. I got more of the candy bar. He was weaker. He got less of the candy bar. All right, question time. All of these we should be able to answer. Should know this one hands down. Should know this one hands down by now. This should be a piece of cake by now. Okay? So these are new. If you can't answer these, we've got to go back in time and study. If you can't answer these, watch this video again. All right, that uh, brings us to the end. I will see you guys at school.